Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I will be explaining how to extract structure from a free energy landscape. So, in this tutorial, I am going to use a 150 nanosecond simulation trajectory and principal component analysis was performed on whole trajectory. That means covering 150 nanoseconds. Okay, now this is the 2D projection of first and second principal component, and this is the 2D projection dot XCG, which I have plotted using XM grade, and this is the conformational space of that protein. Okay, now you can see these dots actually, these are the protein conformation. Okay, so this is a 2D plot because they are in X and y axis two principal components have been used but if we express this conformation in terms of their energy state that means gives free energy this plot can be converted into a three dimensional free energy landscape so i have transformed it into a free energy landscape you can see so this is the free energy landscape Okay, and you know this blue region is the global energy minima. That means the conformations which are present in this zone are energetically favorable. That means their free energy state is low. Okay, you can see this region, the conformations which are present in this region. Okay. And if you want to visualize the conformational change, which actually lead to the stabilization of the protein complex. Okay. So, suppose you want to extract the conformation and visualize the structure. Okay. So, how will you do that? That is the question. So, for that, we need mainly two files that means gives.txt. And projection dot xcg. So let's see. So in this folder, you can see this is the gives dot text. So it is present in text format. Let's open it in Microsoft Office Excel. Okay. Open Microsoft Office Excel. Then go to data. From text and then select the gives dot text. You can see this is the first principal component, second principal component, and this is the free energy values. Okay. Now, we want to see the conformation with lowest free energy. Okay, so let's rearrange this whole data according to their free energy level. So, first sort from smallest to largest and select the whole data, expand the selection. Now, we get this conformation which have zero values that means these conformations are present in the energy minima region but how to confirm that you can see this pc1 value and pc2 value let's compare it with the free energy landscape so you can see for global energy minima region along the pc1 the value is around 2 and for pc2 it's around 0 or minus 1 to 0 this range you can see that for pc1 it's around 2 and for pc2 it's present between minus 1 to 0 that's why this conformation is present so all these conformations which are present in the energy minima region their pc1 value is around 2 and pc2 value is 
within 0 to minus 1. Now we have to find these values within the 2D projection dot xyz because that is the principal component 1 and principal component 2 these values are present within the 2D projection dot xyz. So let us first open the 2D projection dot xyz in excel ok. So again open an excel then go to data from text Now select the 2D projection dot exit. Next, select space. Now you can just delete this part. And you can see how many values are there along the column. If you scroll down, now you can see there are 15,000 frames because our simulation trajectory is of 150 nanosecond. Okay, and for 150 nanosecond, if we extract the frame after every 10 picosecond so total there will be 15000 frames and since i have performed principal component analysis covering whole trajectory so in 2d projection dot xcg total 15001 frames will be there now we have to find the confirmation with pc1 value around 2 and pc2 value within 0 to minus 1 Okay, that's how we can identify the frames along the simulation trajectory which were present within that zone. That means within the global energy minima region. First of all, write the frame number here. Okay, now the frame numbers are present. Now select any column that means any PC1 or PC2 column and arrange them from smallest to large. And for PC1, go to the rows containing PC1 value around 2. You can compare the gives dot text 2.04 and here for PC2 minus 0 0.59. Okay, minus 0 0.59 or minus 0 0.02. This value. So 2.04, 2 and minus 0 0.2. So this frame, frame number. 14,796, the frame number 14,179, this frame, these are the frames or confirmation which are present within the global energy minima region. That is how you can identify the frame or confirmation within the simulation trajectory. Several confirmation will be there because not only one con confirmation is present within the energy minima region, several confirmation. You just need one or two. Okay. Now we know the frame number that means 14,179 or this frame or this frame. You can simply dump it. You can simply extract it from the simulation trajectory using Gromax command. Okay. And now I will show you how to extract this confirmation in PDB format from the simulation trajectory. So this is the folder where input files are present this fitted.xtc 
and other input file like ppr index now open this folder in terminal this is the gromax command for dumping or extracting the structure from trajectory use gromax trajectory conversion command and as input md.ppr and fitted.xt and now we are going to dump the 14179 this frame and we will save this as minimum.pdp and this will be in picosecond time level okay so now copy and paste this command into the terminal now we have to choose a group since we are trying to check the structural alteration of protein so three group one that means protein then the protein pdb structure will be saved so this is the structure minimum dot pdb now let's extract the first structure that means the initial structure so frame number one so that we can compare the structural alteration okay so again use this command but instead we are going to use the first frame so again select group number one to get the structure and we will save it as fast dot pdp now let's open the minimum frame and the first frame in ucf chimera to compare their structure okay so this is the minima frame and let's color it with red color okay and then open the first frame this is the first frame colored with cyan and now you can compare these two structure to check the structural alteration which occurs during md simulation so particularly the region near ligand binding site and this loop region in tail portion there some structural alteration occurred in this region okay so that's how we can compare so that's all for this tutorial in next tutorial i will be explaining how to generate porcupine plot okay so thank you thank you for watching